everybody. Hello my lovely friends and welcome to the Penny Pepper Experience 2019. But first, let's do the intro. I find I am renewed. Thank you. Now, did you have a great time over the holidays? I hope so. I got some lovely presents for which I'm very thankful. And I do a little thing around the solstice. I like doing little celebrations that are based around nature and the changing seasons. But I did Christmas Day as well and went out with my man, the delightful Kevin. Uh, Kev. Oh, he'll hate me for calling him Kevin. Kev! And some really good friends. But I'm very interested to hear how your holidays were and if you got anything unusual or different. Uh, people are trying to tell me something, I'm sure, on diaries. So, first of all, I bought my great big work diary, which is so heavy, I can hardly hold it. <laughs> Look at that beast. And that's what I've been scratching in today to make preps for doing my video. I'm sorry there was a gap. I was a little bit poorly and I had to go in hospital briefly but maybe a tale for another day but I did get mummy and calendar and this one which gorgeous paper blanks I don't know if any other any others of you out there know about these beautiful diaries but they're just worth having so one two three four two calendars five six and i have a dream calendar <laughs> dream dream diary i should say but i hope that i can fill them with lots of lovely things and not too many hospital visits but visiting everybody out there making videos and um, sharing the love and all my most aged experiences from the year dot one of them coming up soon but first I'd like to put a Penny Wrights piece in every week so please do tell me uh, give me your feedback and your comments below um, I am going to be doing mentoring soon and doing some master classes so please look out for them around the country I love mentoring and I love particularly for nervous beginners or people who have begun but they don't know what's the next stage or I often get asked how do you find inspiration now it's good to do exercises to exercise that writing muscle and I want to give you an inspiration today with this I wonder how many of you know ooh, know what that is yeah Shall I tell you? Shall I? It's a hat pin. It's an Edwardian hat pin. And I've used this in classes before. And I've used it myself as a prompt to a story. I used it to come up with a Victorian era story about murder. Mmm. And others have been inspired to write about are they a decorative object 
my lovely friend Sophie Partridge did a poem about that, about am I necessary, am I decorative? Sophie, you were both. And sadly, she's left us now, but Sophie, you were the best. And I loved that you were in my workshop that day. So think about that. Share your comments. What does that make you think of? Now, if you're going to write a story, remember your beginnings, middles and ends. Remember to contain a human truth. Why not try flash fiction? I'm a big fan of flash. I'm quite good at it and have won one or two awards for my flash. Um, a flash is normally below a thousand words and anything down to 50. Harder to do than it might seem, but a good way of focusing on every word, every word that matters. What's the story? We're not talking about writing a, a memory or a vignette, a story. How would you bring this? lovely thing i think it's lovely into your story of 500 words so let me know how you get on and let me know what else i can help you with um and if there's anything specific we could go through on my channel because i do love hearing from you and I look forward to getting naked with you on the Naked Punk Tour. Mmm, that'll make you think. So, get writing. It's good for you. It's true. I've got about a couple of hotels I stayed in now, recently. And I just want to ask the big why. I ask it every other week. Why is this thing like this? What, you may say. That we've just, as a human race, we've landed a probe on the other side of the moon. But we cannot get a decent, reliable, accessible bathroom in your average hotels. These things are, we come back to it again and again, these things are not necessary. Barriers that can be removed, buildings can be changed. So if you would, in the comments below, um, please give me a like, but also please tell me about your own good and bad hotel experiences. So, here we go. Welcome to my hotel room. Here we are. I'm in deep country fight. There I am. Sarat. Sarat. Hertfordshire. Place of my birth. Which I hope you can see there. Look. In my little duvet. So the room is nice. But we do have the eternal problem. Okay, so here is the bathroom. As you can see, there's no... If anyone would like to comment about why this is inaccessible, I'd be very uh, pleased to read your comments. And maybe we could have a best hotel and a worst hotel event. How about that? to the left of the view but you can see there's absolutely no room besides the loo and i'm in the doorway to the toilet there's my frame that i bring with me yes life can be that complicated <laughs> It's, it's weirdly non-accessible, accessible shower time. I hope i show you the weird phenomena that is the accessible shower. Note the strange ramp. I hope you can see that. So, uh, yeah. I'm not sure if I meant to catapult into that. 
uh, or how that works. And there I am. Is there any grab rooms at all in the bathroom? There's none in the shower. Anyway, they knew that I was uh, a disabled guest. This clearly, oh, there, there's the grub rail. By the toilet, okay. So, and hit there's the sink. Yes, nice lever tap. There's me. Hello. My PA has had a shower. There's been a flood. Here we go. Tire tracks. The fight goes on, I would say. Ibis Hotel, Wolfhamstow. Please, can we have better in the age of probes landing on Mars, International Space Station, but da, 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 you cannot get an accessible shower. So, thank you very much for joining me on my third video there will be regular weekly ones now and i just want to say please please do a comment please like and please hit the subscribe button because the more we work together the more we can change the world we can honestly trust me follow me on instagram it's penny a pepper and penny pepper right performer on Facebook, I have a page which is Penny Pepper Writer Performer, and on Twitter, I'm at Pen Pep. So I look forward to seeing you all there. Thanks so much for your support, it really is appreciated. Really, thank you. And I look forward to reading your comments below, and I'll see you next week. Okay, bye for now. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.